Hello everyone, this is Michael Wallace at Peak Advisors. Recently I had a client situation that I thought I would create a small video about. That client wanted to migrate from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. And it was not, and were not able to do so because they had several thousand, hundred thousand, several hundred thousand more targets than the total allowed in a migration to QBO. The target allowed in that migration to QBO is 750,000. They had over 1.2 million. Now, what drove all these targets? The file wasn't that large. It was just a gigabyte file. And I'm going to show you, just in case you don't know, in case you're curious about it. So what is a target? A target is essentially each line that is on a transaction. So in front of us, we have an invoice in the Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply Sample Company, and it has four targets. It has the first line, which says replanting a parking lot, the next line that has the quantity of 10, and then we have the next line, which is blank, and the next line, which is an installation of landscape design. Those are four targets. The blank line's a uh, target, the line with the items is a target, both lines with the items are targets, and the blank line without an item is a target. I'm gonna show you that. Function on my keyboard, function F2. Okay, so the product information screen is up. And here we can see right here the total number of targets. And that is 10,059 targets, okay? Now, to demonstrate what I'm saying, that each line on a transaction is a target, I'm going to delete this line. Save the invoice. Yes, I want to record my changes. And now I have called up the product information. And look at this, 10,058. By deleting that line, I reduce the number of targets by one. There are a lot of ways um, that you can create a target. You could add lines to checks. You could add lines to journal entries. You could add lines to invoices, credit memos, very valuable information lines add targets. Nothing wrong with that. You just need to be aware of that problem when you migrate or try to migrate to QuickBooks Online. And thank you very much.